Hey guys, how are you all doing? I'm Paul and this is Tech and Travel. So today I'm going to cover the subject of my personal picture settings for this 65 inch C9 OLED from LG. Um, before I get into the video, just want to say a big thanks to the guys at box.co.uk for supplying me with this TV because if it weren't for them, we would be making this video right now. So yeah, picture settings. It's a uh, commonly asked question by you guys, you know, what settings do I use? And uh, I've done this video uh, previously for my B8 model, so I thought I might as well do it for the C9. Um, like I've said before, these are my personal settings. I am no expert, I don't claim to be an expert, um, but I do use two very sensi sensitive optical um, sensors for when I uh, calibrate my TV. And all right, I'll just get those now. Yeah, there's one and uh, there's the other. Yep, that's all I use is my eyes. That is it, nothing more, nothing less. I just look at the screen and I adjust it to exactly how I want it to look. If I like the look of it, that'll do me. Um, I know some people get hung up on sort of professional calibration settings and things like that. And uh, that's fine, but a lot of people out there um, say to me that they don't like those sort of settings. They look a bit sort of boring, a bit flat. Um, so don't be afraid to um, sort of, you know, mess about with the settings yourself. Do you know what I mean? You know, there's no right or wrong when it comes to personal preference. So yeah, like I said, don't be afraid to fiddle around with them. Get, get them to how you want. Look at my settings as just, you know, somewhere to maybe start from and uh, take it from there maybe. If you don't like them, it's no big deal. You know, tr just try something else. So anyway, um, let's crack on with a video. Right then guys. So uh, the way I'm gonna do this video is first off, I'll show you um, my equipment that I have got connected to the TV, which I use for my general sort of viewing. Uh, then I'll show you uh, the settings for my standard definition stroke high definition content. And then also I will show you my settings for HDR, uh, Dolby Vision and gaming. Right, so uh, let's uh, crack on. So the first thing uh, I'll just show you is the uh, equipment I've got. So first thing is a two terabyte Sky Q box and a 4K Apple TV box. Now what I'm gonna do is just uh, grab the remote and uh, show you guys something to do with the uh, Sky Q box. Now I know a lot of you guys out there in the UK do have these boxes. So uh, I'll just quickly show you this, come out of this. Gotta be careful of what I show on the TV due to copyright reasons. So that's why I'm putting it off to the side here. Right, so uh, what I'm gonna do is just get up the settings there. Then go down to setup, then audio visual, and then I set mine to 1080p. Now it might seem a bit weird so it can do um, 4K, but personally, I think for watching normal sort of uh, HD content and that, that the TV seems to do a better job of, I'm guessing, doing the upscaling as opposed to the box doing it. So I just set it at 1080p and it seems to be a sharper image for that. Um, and that's the way I seem to leave it. I don't really watch any 4K content from the Skybox anyway. So that's uh, the way I just leave that. So hopefully for any of you guys out there with SkyQ boxes, uh, that might be a useful thing to try out. Right, so uh, moving on to my uh, picture settings now. So got remote control and uh, I'll say this is just the, for some reason it's coming up saying Sky Humax. I think it's Sky Humax, it's a Sky Box. But anyway, um, what we're going to do is a long press on the settings and I will show you my standard slash HD settings. So, like I say, this is what I use on my Sky Box. So, uh, first we're going to start off with um, we've got energy saving to off. Then we go into additional settings. And I have HDMI Ultra Deep Color uh, on HDMI turned on, which is what I have the uh, Skybox on because if there is any um, 
HDR content or anything like that, I can actually play it through there if I so wish. So it's all ready for that. Um, OLED panel settings. Now I've got screen shift on and logo luminance adjustment set to low. So uh, those will uh, help prevent screen burn. Right, moving on, let's have a look. So picture settings, I have the, I use the standard uh, user mode there. AI picture, I have that to on. OLED light is 88. Contrast uh, 92. Brightness 52. Again, now these, you know, can vary from panel to panel. Um, I know from the few that I've had, the um, brightness can vary quite a bit actually. Um, so take a bit of time maybe adjusting that up. Um, again, that's something else you need to uh, remember with these things as well. Um, it's not only just sort of personal preference. There are, you know, variations in the panels as well. You know, not every panel is the same. There are going to be slight variations in it. And obviously your viewing environment. Um, right, so moving on. Um, sharpness, 29. Colour. 57, tint zero, color temperature C20. I know a lot of people say it's a bit sort of too bluish, but I personally, I like how it comes out of the box for that, to be honest. Um, advanced controls, dynamic contrast low, dynamic color low. Um, I don't mess around with anything to do with preferred color. Color gamut wide, um, super resolution high, and gamma medium. And let's move down to picture options. Noise reduction low, MPEG noise reduction low, smooth gradation low, black level low, motion I care off, and a true motion to clear. Again, some people are more susceptible to um, the soap opera effect and things like that. So again, I have a little fiddle around with that. I like it, uh, I like the soap opera effect, so uh, yeah. I'll leave it on clear. Right, um, so what we do now is I think we'll start off with a bit of HDR. So uh, we'll uh, get a bit of HDR content on and I'll show you the settings for that. Right, so uh, next up we've got some 4K HDR content. And uh, what I do, I'll just show you guys there just to prove it. So 4K HDR, again, I've got to be careful what I'm showing here on screen. So uh, just move the camera off to the side there, grab the remote control, do a long press. And again, it, I use the standard user. Again, it's highlight there saying HDR picture mode. Right, let's have a look. So we have got OLED light at 100. Oh, sorry, AI picture is on. OLED, OLED light 100, contrast 100, brightness 52, sharpness 29, color 61, tint 0, color temperature C20. Let's move down to advanced controls. Dynamic contrast medium, dynamic tone mapping on. Uh, dynamic color medium, don't mess around with preferred color. Color gamut wide, super resolution to medium. And then moving on to picture options. Noise reduction low, MPEG noise reduction low, smooth gradation low, black level low, motion I care off, true motion clear and AI brightness off. Right, let's uh, far up some Dolby Vision content. Okie dokie, so we now have got some Dolby Vision content in the form of uh, Baywatch. So, uh, again, got to be a bit careful here. Let's grab the remote control, long press. And let's start off by uh, showing you that we're running Dolby Vision there. Again, standard mode. And ooh, 
Better watch what I'm showing here. Um, OLED light 100, contrast 100, brightness 49, sharpness uh, 28, color 62, tint 0, color temperature C20, move down to advanced controls, dynamic contrast medium, dynamic color medium, preferred color, don't mess about with that, super resolution medium, and let's go down to picture options, noise reduction low, MPEG noise reduction low, smooth gradation low, motion eye care off, true motion clear and AI brightness off. Right, so I think next we'll uh, show the uh, gaming settings. Right, so here we are with the PlayStation 4 Pro fired up. Um, what I'll do first is just show you the actual settings on the PlayStation itself. So uh, here we are on the video output settings page. And uh, that's what we've got those on there, automatic and that. So we'll go down to the video output information. That just shows the resolution, color format, HDCP, so on and so forth. So uh, what I do now is just grab the remote for the uh, TV. Now I just do want to point out that I haven't got any settings for the actual HDR gaming because uh, I've not really played much, uh, to be honest. So I'll just give you the regular gaming settings. So long press on the remote. And we are using just for the pitch mode is the game uh, user mode there. Then we have OLED light at 88, contrast 90, brightness 51, sharpness 26, color 53, tint 0. Let's move on to expert controls. Dynamic contrast off, super resolution to medium, color gamma auto, gamma 2.2, nothing to I'd mess around with white balance or color management. So we'll move on to the next one. Um, picture options, noise reduction off, MPEG noise reduction off, smooth gradation off, black level low, motion eye care off, and true motion off. So there you go. That's the uh, the settings covered. So there you have it then, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, maybe think about subscribing for uh, more of the same in the future. Once again, thanks uh, to the guys at box.co.uk for uh, loaning me this TV to try it for you guys and we create these videos. And uh, go and check out their link in the description. Um, I'm looking at trying out some more TVs, so it'd be great if you go and have a look, see what TVs they got, and uh, put a suggestion in the comments below. So anyway, thanks very much for joining me, and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.